This lesson is about using these symbols here, the equal sign, the greater than sign, and the less than sign. In question one, we have to fill in the blank using one of these symbols. Two fifths is smaller than three fifths. So in words, we would say two fifths is less than three fifths. And therefore we would use the less than sign like that. One way of remembering which way around the sign goes is to look at the smaller end effectively with just the one point that goes towards the smaller number and the larger end with the two points goes towards the larger number. Let's compare that with question two. Here we've got two plus three and we're comparing that with 4.2. Now two plus three is five. Five is bigger than 4.2, so it's greater than 4.2, which means we want that symbol there, the greater than symbol. Remember, we've got the smaller end of the symbol with the smaller number and the larger end with the larger number. In question three, we're comparing three and four. Three is less than four, so we need that symbol there. In question four, we're comparing 4.2 plus 1.8 with six. Now, if we work out what 4.2 plus 1.8 is, we find that the answer is six exactly. So these are equal and we use the equal sign. In question five, we're comparing three quarters with 12 sixteenths. To compare fractions, we either want a common numerator or a common denominator. Let's go for a common denominator in this case. Let's turn three quarters into something over 16. What we're doing here is multiplying the denominator by four. So we're going to have to multiply the numerator by four as well. And three times four is 12. So three quarters is the same as 12 sixteenths, which means these are equal. In question six, we're comparing 9.7 with seven plus 2.678. 7 plus 2.678 works out to be 9.678. And we can see that 9.7 is the bigger number. We've got nine units in both cases, but 9.7 has got seven tenths, whereas this number here has only got six tenths. So 9.7 is greater than 7 plus 2.678. That's the symbol we want to use here.